Hey, welcome back to another video. Now recently we seem to have done a lot of product reviews. So in this video, we wanna get back to what we do best and that's showing you some of the best keyboard shortcuts for Adobe Premiere Pro. Now in this video, we're gonna show you some of the shortcuts that we use to start a project and bring clips into Premiere Pro. So this is great if you're new to Premiere Pro or if you're actually a seasoned Premiere Pro user and you're just not sure what some of the shortcuts are. It's really worth watching all the way through. So let's get started. So the first simple shortcut is the letter V. This will change your key to the selection tool. It's really simple. It's a really handy shortcut to get you back to one of the main functions of shifting things around. You can press this from anywhere to get back to this tool. So now I have an empty project and I'll go and find my first clip. The next shortcuts I'll use are kind of a group of shortcuts and these are the I, O, J and L keys. The I key will mark your in point, and then I'll use the L key to fast forward to find the point where I want to stop my clip. Now, if you do press the L key again, it will go faster and faster. Now, once you've found the point you want to mark out, simply hit the O key, and this will mark out your clip. If I need to rewind, I can do that using the J key. So once you've marked your in and out points, you can use the comma key to insert your clip into the timeline, or if you've got a clip you want to overwrite, tap the full stop or period key. Now I've already got my first clip on the timeline within seconds. Now if you've got a few clips down and you need to chop up any clips, simply use the C key to change into the razor tool. So now you can cut your clip. If you hold down the shift key and press C, this then lets you cut every clip from top to bottom. This is really handy if you know there's a whole section you want to chop out or if you've synced music with a clip below. To quickly copy and paste clips, highlight your clips and press Ctrl plus C on a PC or Command plus C on a Mac to copy them and then use Command V or Control V to paste, just like you would in Microsoft Word. Now there's actually an even quicker way of doing this. Highlight the clip you want to use, select your clip and then hold down the Alt key and then drag and drop your clip to a new position and you'll see this will copy your clip for you and this one saves a lot of time. Next, to zoom in and out of your timeline, use the plus key to zoom in and the minus key to zoom out. This really makes it a lot easier for you to view your whole timeline or to dive into specific parts of your projects. Now, the next shortcut you should really use a lot is the Control plus S for Windows or Command S for Mac. This will save your project and make sure you do this constantly. Next, press Y for the slip tool. This keeps your clip exactly at the spot in your timeline, but lets you slip backwards and forwards in time. Now, this is really useful for when you have to refine some clips and tweak without messing up your whole timeline. It's much easier to use this rather than replacing the entire clip. Next, to render your timeline, this is a really simple one, but just press the return key. I know a lot of people don't know this shortcut. The next shortcut is the A key. Now, you can use the A key to select everything from the right of your playhead hold down the shift to select everything from the left. This is great for when you need to add a clip in the middle of your project and you can quickly do it without having to highlight or select each clip individually. Next up, if you're using a lot of audio, hit the G key to bring up your audio gain menu for a clip. Here you can set the gain, adjust the gain, normalize the max peaks and normalize all peaks. Next up is the F key and the F key is the match frame keyboard shortcut. And this is good when you want to find the exact clip that's in the sequence in your source monitor. So this is a super quick way of finding your original clips. You know, maybe you've deleted the audio from your video file and you want to find the original clip. This is by far the quickest way. Next, use these keys to really navigate through your timeline ultra fast. Use the up and down arrows to skip forwards or backwards between clips on your timeline. This is a super handy way to accurately navigate your timeline. Command T will create a new legacy title. Use this as it's much easier than going through the top menus. Finally, Command Alt and K on a Mac or Control Alt and K on a PC will bring up your keyboard shortcut menu. And yes, there's even a shortcut to find your keyboard shortcuts. Now, we definitely recommend sticking to the originals, mainly because if you ever switch to another computer or operating system, your muscle memory can really kick in. However, if you're working on something specific, you can also set a new shortcut here just to make that job much easier. 
So there you go, that's a quick video about some of the best and most simple shortcuts in Adobe Premiere Pro. And these are shortcuts you should be using every time you're in the edit within Adobe Premiere. Now remember, if you wanna check out the Editor's Keys shortcut keyboard, we do a bunch of keyboards here that contain all of the shortcuts for Adobe Premiere Pro. So you don't have to memorize any of these and you'll find hundreds more. So I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check that out. And also don't forget to check out our full Adobe Premiere Pro playlist up here and we'll see you in the next video.